Hey peaches, what is up? Today I am in a weird location for sure. I'm in our guest room. Um, isn't Spec so cute? I found it at uh, Five Below and it um, was definitely not what I was there for, but when I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. I still have the tag on it, but so cute. Anyways, I wanted to film kind of in a couple different places. Um, I just filmed to get ready with me and I'm in the same exact looking everything because I didn't change one single thing. You guys are gonna see this video first and then they get ready with me using the products I'm gonna be showing you today. But I went absolutely all the way in on the uh, 21 Days of Beauty sale at Ulta and I wanted to share with you guys everything I got from there and just recently some other things that I've been loving that I have gotten recently. So this is just a really big haul. Um, I hope that you guys can hear me okay because I kept my mic kind of to the side. Let's delve into my bag of goodies. So I'm going to try to show you guys everything I got from the sale first. Um, and the first thing I grabbed is the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. I have been wanting to try this for so, so long. And between this and one other thing I'm gonna show you, my skin looks so good, like one week later, it's crazy. And the unique thing about this Vitamin C Serum that I didn't realize when I first got it is you actually use it every other night. Um, which for me, like, I want to apply it five times a day, kind of a gal, so that was like, I had to remember to use it every other day, but it's made a really big difference for me. Speaking of skin, this next product, the Tula Probiotic, um, Probiotic Skincare, I was going to say the whole name of the whole thing, it's fine. The Tula Hydrating Day and Night Cream, oh my gosh, I kind of wish I didn't discover this because it is expensive. But I definitely want to repurchase this. I had actually just gotten a night cream. I'll show you guys in a minute. And so I was trying to use that at night and use this during the day. So I've only been using it once a day and it still made a really big difference for me. I really highly recommend this. Everybody was telling me I need to try the cleanser from Tula next. And so I'm like, I have my eyes peeled for that too. But I really recommend this. It smells really like clean and light. Um, and it's just... Amazing. I love it. I also should have said this at the beginning, but I'm going to try to go through this kind of quick because I do have like 5,000 things it feels like to go through. And I also have recently gotten some home decor kind of stuff and some clothes, but I didn't include it in this haul because I didn't know if you guys would A, want to see that and B, want to see it in the same like makeup haul. Um, if you guys do want to see that as well, tell me so that I can do like a separate video on that. I had no idea that there were such things as MAC mini lipsticks, but there are. And they had this little sale going when I got one of my last things from the sale where they're minis. If you buy two, you got one free. So I got um, Russian Red, which I've wanted to try for a really, really long time. I have to get my lips in like kind of better conditions first, which we'll get to in just a second. But um, I got that in Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is like my color. That's what I wear pretty much every single day color wise so I was really excited to see that one and then I ended up getting for free um, the Benefit Roller Liner and it's just like one of their tiny eyeliners it's a really good little package um, I don't know I just like it. it's kind of unique and high quality so I mentioned this in my get ready with me so I won't say it like all the way over but I struggle a little bit with eyeliner sometimes because it feels really dry on my eyelid and I haven't fully experienced that with this yet, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated if it's too harsh on me. Is that everything I got from the sale already? Hilarious. Okay, so next and I guess last from the sale, I pretty much went through like as soon as I got my magazine on what was going to be on sale, circled it, put a little star by it, put a little heart by it, and put aside that money to get everything. And I kind of backed off on a few things that I did want. Um, just because I was really trying to be smart with my money. So I didn't get tons of stuff from the sale. And um, some of the things I did want from the sale, I actually got another place because I had a gift card. But all that to say. The Lorac, you guys tell me, do you say Lorac or Lorac? I think I say Lorac. Lorac? I don't know what I say. I confuse myself anytime I try to say it a different way. But this is the Pro 3 palette. And to be honest with you guys... The colors in this are gorgeous, but they're not my main colors because they're a lot of shimmery. Um, the darkest brown to me, I would like like two other dark brown colors similar to that one if this was like my dream palette, but I have actually loved this. And all that being said, I did really want it when I saw it online. It was so pretty. Um, and every single one of the shimmers I have already dipped into, dipped into, which is like kind of unusual for me. I'm pretty a matte 
strictly matte girl, but um, amethyst in this specifically is one of my favorite colors. And I don't know, it's just beautiful, so I really highly recommend this one. And it actually came with a very small sample size of the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This one is so neat because the top of it comes out kind of like a lipstick, like a lip balm. Um, so I've been trying to use that in conjunction with another primer that I'll show you guys. So I also wanted to get the Benefit Gimme Brow because y'all, mine literally doesn't have writing on it anymore. I put it on Instagram and everybody was like, that's how you know you like a product and you can't even read what it is. Um, to the point that I didn't even know what shade I had gotten and I was like, I hope that's right. I don't know. But I actually found out I had a gift card for Belk or for Sephora. I had them, I can't remember which place I got this, but um, it covered pretty much the whole price of it. And so I did get it in number three. I love this to set my brows with. Um, and it's just like, I've been on my brow game lately, but I haven't been doing my brows good. Like, I've been super into the products I'm using and how I'm filling them in and everything. But just for some reason, I haven't been super happy with them lately. So... Anything that can help me, I'll take. So then I did get that from Belk, I remember now, because I got this from Sephora, because I had the other gift card. This is the Laneige. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say it. Um, Laneige. This is the Sleeping um, Lip Mask, and it's actually in this in vanilla, which when I first heard about this sleep mask, I didn't even know it came in other like, flavors. I thought it was just like the rose goldy one. It's rose, I think. Um, but then when I saw it came in vanilla, I was like, absolutely, I have to have vanilla because vanilla is my favorite everything. And um, funny side note, I actually have like a hundred vanilla perfumes and anytime I spray them, every single time afterwards, Dustin will say, you smell like a cupcake, which is so funny to me. But um, this has been really good for me lately. I have been forgetting to use it at night, but um, it has been helping my lips quite a bit. Okay, so for kind of more like high-end stuff, I did end up getting the MAC. Um, paint pots in Painterly and Soft Ochre. I have wanted these as long as I have been doing makeup and like have known about makeup and started to get passionate about makeup. And I don't know why I've never gotten them. I just haven't. It's always been like kind of a dream thing for me. And I think maybe because I was thinking they were like tons more expensive than they actually are. I think they're like $22. Um, and there was a sale going on for this. Maybe this was the first thing from the Ulta sale. I can't remember. Um, yeah, that sounds right. I think these were like marked down to 10 each, I think. I've really liked these a lot. I, as I'm getting a little bit older, have struggled with some wrinkles on the out, outer part of my eye, you know, like crow's feet kind of. And I've noticed a few of the primers I've always loved really don't look good on me anymore because they kind of settle a little bit there. And this being a cream product has really changed the game for me. I wanted to include this <laughs> just basically so you guys know about it. Um, Sorry if I've been out of focus this whole time. I literally can't see anything. I got this as a free sample in the mail. Sometimes um, First Aid Beauty will like pop up on my feed somewhere on Facebook and it'll be like, or Instagram. It'll say, do you want to try a new like product that's coming out? And I'm like, fishy. But I did it the first time and I got um, a hand cream. And then it popped up the second time and I was like, fishy. But I did it again. And then I got this primer. It's the Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. And I'm almost out of it. And I'm so sad because it is so, it has so good. It has been so good. And it smells like cucumbers. I finally figured it out today. It's like very light and fresh. Um, and I just love it. So I die over primers you guys know I'm like a primer junkie and I'm definitely gonna have to get the full version of this as soon as I possibly can this is a random little side thing um, I saw this pixie nourishing lip polish and so when I picked it up I wasn't really sure what it was going to be but I wanted to share it because it's really cool it's just I don't really want to say a balm it's kind of it says it's a luxe lip exfoliator um, and then you can just leave it on so I was thinking it was like a treatment but it says exfoliator and like polish and so I kind of couldn't figure it out well the tip of this is basically like a silicone little scrubby head which is so neat because sometimes I have extremely dry lips and it's always embarrassing and sometimes I just need to get the little dry pieces off to like move on with my day and so I really like to have this in my bag in case I feel like little flakes are starting to come up and I kind of need a little bit of help. Um, this definitely helps and it's so much better than like snapping your skin off, which is gross and I definitely do. Mascaras. I actually have two mascaras. Um, this one I got at like the beginning of March when we were going on our anniversary trip. It is the Unlimited Mascara by L'Oreal. I am such a sucker for this kind of stuff. This is the only reason I got this mascara, you ready? 
That's it. Apparently, this brush is like movable. It's really not that big of a deal, but I'm glad that I got it because I really, really like it. I've been using it a lot. Then I got this one from Maybelline. It's called Snapscara. It's such a cute little bottle. I kind of got it just for that. That's the front of it, and then the side of it has like these little eyes on it. Um, this one I'm not super sure about yet. I really like the brush on it and the way that it's curved a little bit. Um, but I've had a hard time with my eyelashes lately and I don't know why. Sometimes if I wear false eyelashes for a while, I feel like I'm just so used to the plush, like, unnatural kind of look um, that my natural eyelashes are just so like me, 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 that I don't like them if that makes sense but um, I'm still giving this one a try if you guys have heard of it or tried it let me know your experience with it okay so I have these two lip liners if you guys follow me on Instagram you probably already have seen a couple of these little things but this is from LA Girl and it's the perfect precision lip liner I got bare and sugar and spice I have sugar and spice on right now and both of these colors are like my color basically this is as much as I vary as far as lip lip color goes, but these have been really good. I like that they're as big as they are because that means they'll last a long time. You guys know I used the one from Milani called All Natural, Most Natural. I always got the name of it wrong. These are very similar in that kind of um, family of color, so I've really liked these lately, and they're super, super inexpensive too, which is a big plus. Okay, I only have a couple things more. I've been searching for a new foundation, and really I can't put my finger on what's been going on with the ones that I have. I still like them and everything, but I'm just like, I need something new, something different. And so I had heard about this Revolution um, foundation, and I kind of forgot about it, honestly, until I was in Ulta looking for something else I don't even remember. And I saw it and was like, oh yeah. I'm going to try that. So this huge bottle is only $12, which I think is a great price. It comes in a glass bottle, so it's really good quality. The applicator on this is a doe foot applicator, which is really neat to me. It's like a big concealer brush. And I do want to try their concealer also. I just haven't been back up to Ulta. But when I got this, I got it in the shade F1, which um, is the lightest shade. And I couldn't decide if I needed the absolute lightest or the one next to it. This one really does match my skin pretty, pretty perfectly. I tested it on the back of my hand and my wrist in the store and it was perfect. But sometimes if I have something that perfectly matches my skin, even after I put on everything else, um, I just look kind of ghostly, especially because I really like a bright under eye. So if I do my face like as pale as I am and then a bright under eye, it just does not look good. So. I didn't know if I needed to like return this one, just go get the other one or what. And then I remembered, I've been wanting to try this foundation actually from CoverGirl, which I I don't have anything against CoverGirl. I just have not like heard about one of their products in a long time that I'm like, oh, I need to go try that. So this is the he he so this is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I got the color 725 because it was the absolutely only one that CVS had. And um, what I've been doing is I'll take, you guys will see this and they get ready with me, but I'll take my Revolution and put little dots all over my face. And then with my brush, I'll put one pump, one little tiny little baby pump on my brush and then blend everything out. And it's been the favorite, my favorite, favorite foundation look I have done ever pretty much because it just looks like healthy and glowy, but it's still matte because this is matte. Um, and I just really like it. So I highly recommend both of these. As far as concealer goes, I also have been struggling on that because the Tarte Shape Tape is definitely my favorite for my under eyes because I think it still manages to be bright but it um, provides a lot of coverage too which for me that's like a problem I don't know why but it's like either you can have coverage and it's like your same skin tone or I don't know I don't even know how to explain it but I just have not liked concealer lately on my skin and I'm almost out of my Tarte Shape Tape so I found this L'Oreal one it's the infallible full wear um, concealer and this is in the shade eggshell. I'll be honest with you guys, I only got this a couple days ago and I've only used it twice. Um, one was on a really bad day where I like took multiple naps so I can't really test it and then I have it on today so I don't know for sure if I love this yet but I thought if it was going to be kind of like obviously not a dupe for the tape shape because it's so good but the bottle definitely reminded me of tape shape so hopefully it'll be kind of similar the last two things um i got this simple water boost it is a skin quench sleeping cream this is my night cream i was talking about and i got it in um 
I don't know what made me pick this one up, I can't remember anymore, but it's really done very well for me and I wake up and feel very moisturized but not overly oily or anything the next morning. So that in combination with my Tula one, my skin is like real happy right now. The very last thing, this has been like 20 minutes of me talking straight, is from Maybelline. You guys know on Instagram, and I think I even did a video with it, the L'Oreal um, Frame and Set, I think it's what it's called, the Brow Pomade. I have liked that one a lot. Recently, I've had a little bit of an issue with it, and um, I can't really figure out why. And I kept saying to you guys, it's either, like, there's this new product, and it's either Maybelline or L'Oreal. I can't remember which one. Well, when I went to the store, the L'Oreal one was all that I saw, so I was like, I guess it's L'Oreal. Well, then I walked in the other day, and lo and behold, Maybelline has a tattoo studio brow pomade. And so I was like, oh, that's the one that I kept seeing and wanted to try. So I have it on today. I am also struggling getting my brow color right recently for some reason. I don't know why. So I think this one is a little too late for me, but that's my own fault. But as far as application goes, I like this one, I think, better than the L'Oreal one um, because the L'Oreal one's a little bit thicker and kind of harder to work with. I'll say this one is more like the Anastasia one as it's easier to make kind of a clean line with it. That was a lot of talking. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, if you want to see kind of like a home decor and clothing and other stuff that's like not makeup really um, related haul let me know and I'll do that um, I hope that you guys know that I I'm really happy about all of this stuff because I get like little stuff here and there I feel like but I don't ever really super splurge on makeup and so since I had kind of like almost a month to prepare for the Ulta beauty sale and um, I had already picked out what I wanted and everything it was a really big deal for me to be able to get some new stuff that I've really really wanted so I'm excited to do some looks and reviews for you guys on everything if there's something I mentioned that you like have a comment about that you tried and you love that you tried and you hated or something that you saw that you're like oh she needs to try this next let me know down below because I definitely want to know and um yeah I'm gonna get going and be quiet because uh, <laughs> that's how I feel right now it was so much talking <laughs> so fast I love you guys so much. Thank you for your constant support. If you're not already subscribed, please do so before you leave if you feel led to. My eventual goal is to be able to be a stay-at-home mommy who does YouTube and blogging so I can still make some money for my family. And I am very much on the road for that this year. So any support I can get means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.